Breaking news, Errol Spence and Terrence Crawford have agreed to all material terms for undisputed welterweight title fight targeted for November 19th in Las Vegas. It's official, ladies and gentlemen. The fight of the decade, possibly the fight of the generation, is finally here. We have pound for pound number one, Terrence Bud Crawford, going up against pound for pound number two, Errol the Truth Spence. It doesn't get bigger and better than this. Two fighters in their primes fighting not just for undisputed. However, for the undisputed pound for pound number one throne. This is finna be an instant classic. The last time we seen two fighters this skillful in the ring going up against each other when they were pound for pound number one and number two. We have to go all the way back to when Roy Jones fought James Tony more than 30 years ago or 40, 50 years ago when Sugar Ray Leonard went up against Tommy Hearns. This is that type of a fight. This is a 50-50 fight. And the only reason I didn't say Floyd Mayweather versus Pacquiao is because Pacquiao was not a completed fighter. He was a flawed fighter. He was a gifted fighter. However, both Crawford and Errol Spence are more complete as fighters. That's why I didn't bring up Floyd versus Pacquiao. Nevertheless, I can't wait. So go ahead and mark your calendars. I told you guys, the holdup for this fight wasn't because of the fake news you guys kept hearing that Crawford is outpricing himself and Keith Thurman is the replacement opponent for Crawford or there's no budget for this fight. These are all lies and fake news. The ultimate holdup is that there's a bidding war. Therefore, the budget is through the roof. We have networks thus fighting to host this legendary event, aka Showtime and Fox. To make matters worse, while people lying and hating on Crawford's name, claiming that he's overpricing himself, so on and so forth, he actually took the short end of the stick. Crawford have accepted all of the financial terms from Al Heyman, including the short end of the revenue split. The package includes a rematch clause where the winner will earn the majority of the revenue for the rematch. With that being said, I said it once and I'm going to say it again. If new media doesn't say it, Dante's Boxing Nation and I, your brother Aki, then it's absolutely not true. If us new media don't cover the news eventually, then it's absolutely not true. With the facts being laid out, drop your thoughts in the comment section below. Subscribe below and click on the notification bell to be continued on the next episode of Aki, Aki, Ak TV. Peace, and I'm on to the next one. Hey, I told you I was gonna pull up on hey. Spence. Hey, you and me, I love you. Hey, look, look, look. I love you. I love you. Hey, I, love you. Hey, I told him I wasn't that worried. I told him I wasn't that worried. This ain't no Keith Thurman shit. That's what we be scared and shit. It's free smoke, Junior. They already know what time it is. T. Bug Crawford. Yeah. Everybody know who the champion is at 147. Who the king is? And he's too small. He's too small. He little. He light in the ass. Hey, look. He ain't light in the ass. Ain't nobody say Floyd was light in the ass. He's light in the ass. He's not Floyd. What you talking about? I knew he was going to be here. And you knew I was going to pull up. That's why I came. Did you know I was going to pull up? Oh, God, I knew he was going to be here. Did you know I was going to pull up? Hey, see, where you at? Did you know I was going to pull up? Hey, see, where you at? Did you know I got a text message from 3 o'clock? And you got a FaceTime for me and you didn't answer. I don't know your number. You got a number. But now you know, save it.